week 55 for the DVD Fiends, and I'm here to review a movie I just recently watched. Uh, it is The Untold Story. Uh, this movie right here, checked it out. You know, I've had it for quite some time. Uh, what release do I have? I have the uh, Can't Pronounce It release. Oh, I don't want to make a jackass of myself release. There we go. Uh, it's the original uncut version, it says. Uh, I checked it out. And I must say that I actually really enjoyed it. A long time ago I put it in and it seemed like a standard police drama movie. But after about five minutes it changes rapidly and it cuts to uh, a pig being slaughtered. And I was like, boom! This is not the movie I thought it was. I had heard a lot of, uh, you know, stuff about it, a buzz about how it's really disgusting and grotesque and stuff. And, uh, no, I just wasn't sure about it until I finished it. And, yeah, it delivered all the goods. And it... it what passed my expectations. I really enjoyed it. I would highly recommend The Untold Story. It was made in 93, I want to say. Let me double check here. Made in 1996. This is the DVD. Wait, maybe 96? Wow, I'm way off. I'm not positive if that's the right year. I don't think it is. Anyways, the film basically follows the lead character, who basically, in the lead character, is this crazy guy in the front. So you know you're in for something insane. He is really good in this, by the way. He is most excellent. Uh, the film is part police uh, chase, I guess. Uh, part slasher movie, maybe? Part prison drama? Part gore fest? Part everything that seems strangely put together? And it's also darkly humorous. Now, you think a disturbing and darkly humorous might not go together, but it does. In this one, at least, they did successfully. Uh, basically, this guy killed somebody a long time ago, changed his identity, and all of a sudden he shows up working in a, a butcher shop as the owner. He was He's uh, the owning the place. And uh, the previous owner mysteriously disappeared. Uh, meanwhile, some body parts, some limbs wash up on shore of the beach. Uh, some kids find it. These bumbling cops come in. There's a group of four of them. And there, there's a couple, there are one, a couple of them are just straight idiots and stuff like that. One's a wannabe ladies man and one's a woman who is so unfeminine they always make fun of her. And then there is their uh, leader of that, he's like the basic, what is it, uh, the chief of that group, the supervisor of that group, and he's just really good cop, but he's always sleeping with hookers and stuff, bringing in these hot women they're always checking out. That's some of the humor in the movie. But anyways, all fingers point to this butcher shop, I meant this uh, restaurant. And the funny thing is, uh, people keep catching on to him, and he starts killing them. He kills off a couple of his workers. One, he rapes in a horrible way with chopsticks, of course, and he screws her, and it's pretty demented. Uh, one guy, he actually chops up and serves him food. Spoiler. The funny thing is, the cops, when they come to visit, they end up eating him. And they don't know. This is supposedly based on a true story. Like, it's wild like that. And the lead guy's just awesome. He's very intimidating, and he looks crazy, and he's got those big glasses. And they're not nerd glasses. They're straight, like, I will kill you glasses. I don't know how to explain that, but that's what they remind me of. I will kill you, Glasses. That's all I can say, because Glasses usually have this thing like, nerd, but no, it's like, I will kill you, Glasses. Don't know why. Anyways, they keep catching on to him, and pretty much they realize that this guy, who used to own this shop, has disappeared, and they basically blame him. More so, they basically have some evidence to convict him, so they're trying to get a confession out of him. And then they find out, they learn, that, you know, he murdered some guy some other place. And they can expedite him there and in Hong Kong, and he can uh, get the death penalty for that. But they want to break him. They want him to admit to killing these people. This guy will not break. After several beatings, they end up putting him in jail with the uh, guy's brother who he killed. He gets so beat so bad, the guy, he ends up doing all these things until it comes to a cat and mouse game. And where they eventually get him to talk, I'm not going to really say how because it's really deranged. But the climax in the movie, what he says happened, and they show it, is just incredibly insane. I mean, I was shocked they showed some of that. Just just the meaning. All I'm going to say is this. If you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about. No use of keeping you alive. No use of not killing you or something like that. I really enjoyed it. The acting, 
of the main character was top notch. Uh, the gore was top notch. The plot was top notch. I mean, it's like a police drama gore fest with good acting. I really enjoyed the movie. The dark humor fits in quite well. Uh, some of it's silly at first. I mean, I didn't, I, I didn't know what to expect at first. I was like, hmm. Then later on, I really dug it. I went on and watched Ebola Syndrome with the same lead and the same director, and that was pretty cool too. I like this one better. But yeah, it's a really awesome movie based on true story. You know, you don't think a movie can be this crazy when it's based on true story, but it was, and I really dug it, and I would highly recommend The Untold Story for anyone that hasn't seen it, because Anthony Wong is 93. was amazing in this, and I really loved it, and I would check it out for some, some dark humor, some awesome gore, a great plot, and you know, I really, really like the whole thing. I can't... It's, it's one of a kind, too. I mean, it's, it's way different than a lot of other movies, so I'd really check out The Untold Story if you haven't seen it. Thank you. Bye.